Hi everyone, it is Fitz with a daily delivery. I know, I delivered already this morning, but now this is an urgent, breaking daily delivery, the kind of bonus daily delivery that you live for, I hope. Hey, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, but thank you to everyone who subscribed on Thursday. I put a call out, let's get it over 11K. We went over, we cruised right over 11K, and that's not even close to the best news. The best news is this daily delivery. The Kansas State women, who are expected to be contenders at the highest level they have been in so very long this year, contenders in the Big 12, and people have even whispered that this is a Sweet 16, Elite 8, and after what I just witnessed the end of, maybe a Final Four. The Wildcats, in their sharp road game grays, went on the road to play second-ranked Iowa and won. That's right, Caitlin Clark, the incredible player for the Hawkeyes, did pour in 24, but Aoka Lee, Yoki did it again. She's back and she's better than ever. 22 points and 12 rebounds. K-State wins 65-58 in a nail-biter. A game that wasn't without uh, being in within two possessions the entire night. It was that kind of game. You had to win every possession. And Kansas State won the final two minutes of this game to close the gap, take the lead, and then protect it. What an amazing win for Coach Jeff Mitty's program. And hopefully this is the one that gets them over the hump. Now keep in mind, they did upset Iowa last year in Bramlage Coliseum, but then Iowa caught fire and went to the national championship where they lost to LSU. And they're expected to contend for that again this year, but they ran headlong into the Wildcats for a second year in a row. This K-State team is going to be really good. They were really fun and efficient. They're well coached. They brought in a lot of talent. And Yoki's back from that knee injury, and she looked absolutely fantastic. What an impressive win. And this is big for women's college basketball. Because for so many years, women's college basketball suffered because there was so much talent gathered at the top, at the upper echelon, that teams couldn't really compete with those levels. They couldn't take on the Yukons and, and the Baylor women back in the day. But now women's basketball, girls' high school basketball, has grown so much there's more talent. What do I mean by this? So far this season, the 10 teams ranked in the top 10 of the women's preseason poll, eight have lost, and Iowa was the eighth. What a win for the women. Hopefully it sets a tone for a weekend of great sports. The men play tomorrow. The football team plays Saturday. The men play again on Saturday or Sunday in basketball. Let's see what happens. Congratulations to the K-State women's basketball team for an impressive road victory. It was well-earned and well-deserved.